Good morning and welcome to the video for Friday, May the 8th. This is going to be for third grade and cover our new lesson working with uh, angles in plane shapes. So let's go ahead and take a look at our unlock the problem. So we're working with an angle that is formed by two rays and we'll expand that a little bit uh, further uh, next year as far as what can make an angle, um, but our angle is going to be formed by a shared endpoint, which we are going to call a vertex, and that's the singular version of the word. If we're talking about more than one, we would use the word vertices. Um, so for instance, if we take a look at this, um, I have a four-sided shape, and so that four-sided shape uh, would technically be a trapezoid. Um, we'll work on that at a different point in time. Uh, so we would have four endpoints that are shared um, as we have our line segments that meet those. Uh, and so we would have four angles here. And we are going to talk about what type of angles that we have. So a right angle is going to be an angle that forms a square corner. And so we are going to see squares and rectangles um, being made up of only right angles. Other shapes are also uh, going to have angles that are either smaller or greater, or sometimes we might have a combination of all three. So for this particular shape, we are going to have all three. So we have a right angle, we have a smaller than right angle, which would be acute, and then we have an obtuse angle, which would be greater than a right angle. So next year we'll work a little bit more on those uh, particular terms. Um, so we have two angles that are right angles. And I think some of my lines to write on are missing uh, in the online version here. Um, I'm going to have one angle that is greater than a right angle, and I'm going to have one angle that is less than. Um, I'm drawing the inequality symbol to save time. Um, I would suggest, if you have the resources to do this, um, give this a go. Uh, it can be kind of fun uh, as you can experiment with different things and see what you can come up with. That would be something that we would do in my classroom. Um, I'm not going to take the time with my uh, technology limitations. Uh, all I would be able to do is pull up uh, this wonderful ruler and do different angles and draw things. But um, I think we can understand how to uh, do the lesson without uh, me doing that. So number one, uh, for Sharon show, again, I'm going to go through all of these. So if at any point you want to pause the video um, so that you can answer, uh, go ahead and do that. And so number one, how many angles do we have? Well, we have three different sides that are all going to meet together at three different endpoints or vertices. And that means we are going to have three angles. Uh, so next one, we are looking at... Um, an angle that is going to be larger than 90 degrees. So I'm going to put my greater than. Number three is going to be less than. And number four, we're talking about this one here. So that would be a right angle. I'll just put an R for that one. Number five, um, now we want to say how many we have. So um, we again have a trapezoid and that is going to have three right angles. We have one angle that is going to be greater than 90 degrees, and it looks like there's a matching angle that is also greater than a 90 degree angle or right angle. So we're gonna have zero that are smaller, two that are greater, and three that are right angles. And so um, I will go off on a rant uh, once you get in fifth grade about this particular thing. Uh, there's a problem in fifth grade's uh, lesson that they did the other day where it asks if it's possible to have a four-sided shape that has three right angles. <laughs> um, and so, no, we would have to have four to do that. Um, let's go over to number seven um, real quick. So we're going to have four right angles and nothing else. Uh, this one, we are going to have zero right angles. And then both of these angles are going to match each other, and both of our top angles are going to match each other. So two are going to be less than a right angle, and two are going to be greater than. 
Uh, number eight, again, we are looking at something that is going to be uh, smaller than a 90 degree angle. So we can use less than. This one is going to be a right angle. And then this one is going to be larger than a right angle. Uh, number 11, write how many of each type of angle. So we have one right angle here. And then I have two angles that would be about the same measurement or equal in measurement. And both of those are smaller than a right angle. Um, we have four right angles for number 12, which means we have nothing else because we only have four angles. And number 13, we have two right angles. We have one that is less than a right angle, this one here, and then this one here uh, on the opposite end of that line segment is going to be larger or greater than 90 degrees. So number 14, describe the type of angle formed when you divide a circle into four equal parts. So let's attempt to do this. So again, um, for those of you that are new to my videos and or having me in a classroom, I am not the greatest artist in the world and trying to do this with a mouse uh, makes it uh, even more difficult. But I do have a handy dandy uh, ruler here, so I'm going to attempt to, as much as possible, make four even shapes or come as close as possible. Now, when I do this, I probably should, I probably could have drawn two arcs and had a better go at this. Um, so yeah, this should be down a little bit further. Um, so what we're looking at is we have to have a matching end point. Um, so I have an end point here, but I have something that's going to be an arc going around. So I would get something, if I took this segment here, I'm going to have a right angle. Wow, that was really bad. I'm going to have a right angle here, but then I have an arc. And so if this were a straight line here, we could say that we have another angle, but we really don't um, for this last portion because of the way the shape would work. If I had a straight line, then I would have two things that meet here. There we go, that's a better example of that. Um, but we're curved here, so we don't have a uh, line segment here. So we're not going to have a shared endpoint that we could uh, get an angle from for this. So we are going to end up with four right angles uh, when we do that. And then everything else, you could probably try to find the measure, but the, the issue is it depends on where you're at. So if I say that I'm measuring it from here, I'm gonna have a different measurement than if I measure from here um, across. So um, that's probably a little bit longer explanation than you needed for that. Um, but when we do that, the only thing we're going to get is uh, four right angles because of the way that that would work, dividing up the shape. Um, so. Uh, for the homework, uh, Risen Cray students, you are working with the evens on the front. So for this one, um, I will leave that off the Google form, um, but make sure that you're doing that if you are turning it in for pictures. And so you can actually find an example of a shape that has this in the lesson. You can actually find an example of this, I believe, in our homework, um, come to think of it, at least one right angle, at least one angle less than, yeah, you can actually find this on the homework page. Um, so work smarter um, and do that. Um, and then on the back, again, we have one, two, three, four different angles. We're not going to worry about interior angles. That is an actual thing, uh, but we will not work on that uh, while you are in elementary school. I believe. Uh, if we do, it's in sixth grade and I just haven't uh, paid attention to the fact that that's happening. Um, and then line segments for number six, uh, if you are working on this and you're not one of my students, um, just you can just count around uh, just like if you were trying to find the perimeter of something. Um, so 
that covers everything I wanted to go over with for that. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom if you're one of my students. If you are not, um, do please reach out to your classroom teacher, especially if you still have any questions after watching the homework video. Uh, so the homework video for this particular lesson will come out on Friday evening, um, and that will cover all of the homework problems uh, not just the ones that my students are assigned to do. So um, try to make it more helpful for everyone. So hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.